first program of its kind in our state as the Clark County Coroner's Office is teaming up with UNLV to begin a forensic fellowship program. Mary Jane Belliaza joins us in studio. Mary Jane, this has been in the works for quite some time, hasn't it? Kirsten, the approval process for this program took more than a year to complete as this national accreditation will help fill an important void in the medical field. Clark County Medical Coroner Melanie Rouse is part of a 24-hour staff working to identify your loved ones. Working in the coroner's office is a tough job with the need to pay attention to the fine details. We really have the ability to ensure that we're effectively writing the last chapter of somebody's life and that we are providing closure back to families. She's the only coroner in Clark County and one of over 70 staff members that will help train graduate students studying forensic pathology. With only 500 forensic pathologists actively working in the United States, at least 100 vacancies still need to be filled nationwide. We have many that are entering into the retirement age, so that in itself creates some challenges. Also, um, the position in itself wasn't as well supported in other areas throughout the country. A new fellowship program with the Kirk Accorian School of Medicine at UNLV, along with the coroner's office, is working to bridge that gap. I'm just thrilled to see more and more of these programs being offered and that I can actually be a part of that. It's just, it's incredible. Dr. Kate Martin, the Associate Dean for Graduate Medical Education at Kirk Accorian, says the goal is to have two students. Fellowships in general tend to be on the smaller side. Residency programs are, are generally larger. So two trainees, two graduates a year um, will certainly add up over time. And this program will do more than just fill the nationwide shortage, but will help us locally. We want to provide these training opportunities so we can not only recruit the best and brightest, but also retain them here to care for the community. And I think the opportunity to find students early on in, in, as they're developing their career path and get them interested in this, the better off it'll behoove the community as a whole. Now this program is a year long and it's for medical students entering their fifth year residency. Thank you, Mary Jane. The first student is expected to begin training in this program in July of 2024.